And to think I was the one who convinced Mallet to join Springfield Food. She left well enough alone. He was doing fine in partnership with you. Yeah, well, if uh, doing fine means being in total debt. Yeah, Ross, well, he was a, he was a huge success. Frank, it's better than lying in there. Ross, now it's a born cop. There's no way I could have kept him on as my partner, even if I wanted to. It was only a matter of time before he's going to put that badge back on. It just so happens that you're the one who gave him that chance, that's all. Ross, now I've wanted it. Such a fault. Thank you, Frank. But right now, the one I'm really worried about is my sister. Now, if Mallet doesn't make it... Oh, he will. He has to. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it, Ross? About guys like you and me. Now, if, well, if we don't have anybody to love, well, there's nobody to lose. Billy, there's no sense putting yourself through anything more than you have to. Let me make the call. No. Listen, it's my responsibility. How's the pressure? Blood pressure's 50 systolic. Heart rate's up to 164. We're in trouble here. Turn all the fluids wide open. Where is this blood coming from? We've got another bleeder here. I can't get to it. More retraction. Blood pressure's 44 systolic. We are losing him. Guthrie stopped the bleeding. Thank God. She did a wonderful job. Then he's all right? What does that mean? That he's out of danger? It means he's resting comfortably. I'm sorry, I know this sounds like a hospital press release. What we basically have here is sort of a non-prognosis. We're just going to have to wait and see. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, nothing except we'll just uh, wait till his condition stabilizes. And once that happens, then we'll be able to tell the full extent of his injuries. When can we see him? As soon as we get him settled down in ICU, I'll let you know. I'm going to go home. If you need me, give me a ring there, okay? Okay. Yeah, I better get going, too. Thank you, Dr. Guthrie. Yes. You're welcome. Thanks. Have the clue? Oh. No, thanks. Harley? You probably don't remember me. No, of course I do. Sue McBride, yes. Yeah. You're, you're Kenny's widow. Yes. <laughs> I just heard about Mallet on the car radio, and I thought they might need blood donors. Well, <laughs> after the force was here before, they were lined up out the block, practically. Cops really rally around when one of theirs goes down. Yeah. Uh, Sue, Sue's husband was a police officer, a very, very good one. Hi, I'm Frank Cooper. Oh, I'm sorry, Harley's this is my brother. brother. Frank, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Officer McBride, uh, Kenny was killed in the line of duty. He was a hero. He was my hero. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm sorry. So how is your beautiful little baby doing? Oh, happy. <laughs> Big. Yeah. He gets more and more like his dad every day. Did you get the thank you note that I sent oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Harley and Mallet sent us the most precious baby gift. Uh, on top of Mallet building the crib for no. us. Yeah. Well, that was a real labor of love for him. He wanted it to be just perfect for you. You're not a cop, are you, Frank? Uh, no. Now it's my best friend. And the two of you together couldn't talk Harley out of joining the force? <laughs> well, it's not like we didn't try, you know, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I'm sure. I imagine Mallet fought you every step of the way. Yeah, and now I know what he was so scared of. And also what you went through. I'm going to pray for Mallet early. And pray that he'll be luckier than Kenny was. That he'll pull through. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Harley. Is he... He's an ICU. Can I see him? Yeah. For a few minutes. Okay, okay good. Oh, Sue. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. I'll stick around for a while. You go. Okay, go. Oh! You don't even have to hang around. Everything's gonna be fine. Give him my best. I will. All right, now, Billy, start.
What is the, uh, the anesthesia? When is that going to wear off? It already has. Oh, well, how long is he going to be like this? Harley, I can't make any promises. You want to spend a few minutes alone with him? Yes. I love you. Please don't die. 